Hi my loves, welcome back to the Star Star Touch channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I have is they want to make a scene. The scripture comes from Acts 15, 36 through 41. Sometime later, Paul said to Barnabas, let us go back and visit the believers in all the towns where we preach the word of the Lord and see how they are doing. Barnabas wanted to take John, also called Mark, with them, but Paul did not think it wise to take him because he had deserted them in Papa Laia and had not continued with them in the work. They had such a sharp disagreement that they parted company. Barnabas took Mark and sailed for Cyprus, but Paul chose Silas and left. Commended by the believers to the grace of the Lord, he went through Syria and Sicilia, strengthening the churches. So, um, this is a message to somebody somebody is going to either they are going to like this is going to happen in the future tense or it just happened somebody started an argument with you and it was about something like not to say that this situation in the bible is like stupid but whatever you're going through is kind of stupid like the argument is stupid it doesn't it's not logical it doesn't make any sense it's like it doesn't even make any sense that you're arguing about this but god is saying that the reason that this person is even causing this argument with you is because they want to make a scene they want to cause some kind of disagreement some kind of fight some kind of spat they want to go back and forth with you they want to fight with you they want to argue with you and like that is literally the message like god is saying this person wants to make a scene and in some cases, it's a situation where this is somebody that is trying to embarrass you. Like, um, they are trying to entice you into a fight. They're trying to entice you into an argument. They're trying to entice you in such a way that they can embarrass you. Like, um, it's almost like somebody that's constantly blaming you, constantly putting you down, constantly saying that you did all these wrong things. And they are just coming at you and coming at you. And, um... I've been through this so many times because, like, when I was younger, I would quickly react. But, you know, now that I'm older and now that I've went through certain things in my life, and, you know, your girl really, I don't like fighting, but I will. And typically, I try to keep myself from getting to that point. And, you know, um, yeah, y'all already know that I always keep it 100 with that. I'm not going to act like I've just been a good girl my whole life. I haven't. And um, my anger is something that I work really hard on still presently till this day. But I have gotten it to a point to where if I'm being attacked or if somebody is constantly coming at me or somebody is constantly arguing with me, somebody is really trying to get me to come out of my norm. I know that that's my time to leave. OK, I know that that's my time. <laughs> that's my time to move around. That's my sign. That's my cue. And um, God is basically telling you this as a warning that whomever this person is, they are really just trying to embarrass you. Um, I'm being reminded of a message that I got. I actually was in a situation like this where um, a friend of mine's, uh, one, of their, some, one of their family members was consistently, constantly, constantly picking at me constantly coming at me constantly attacking me constantly talking down on me constantly um being very how do you say it like very judgmental towards me and it wasn't in a sense of trying to help me it was in a sense of being judgmental to attack me to belittle me to make it seem like oh you're not that great oh you're not that awesome and that's something that I know I deal with it a lot, especially since um, God has pushed me to come on YouTube and start prophesying and my channel as it grows. It's like so many people will look at me as a person and be like, well, I don't think you're a prophet because you do this. You act this way. You do that. You do this. And this while this all may be true, uh, you know, it is what it is. I didn't receive this gift a few years ago. This is a gift that I received when I was in the womb. I've been having dreams all my life. And um, I've been prophesying all my life, but it's not to say that I'm perfect. I'm not perfect. I know I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to act like I'm perfect. I will never behave like I'm perfect. But, you know, for somebody, because of whatever you do, regardless if you're a prophet, you're a priest, you, you do something to where 
people expect you to act a certain way people expect you to behave a certain way people expect you to be a certain way and there is someone that is trying to cause you to behave differently someone wants you to come out of that and you know like regardless to, to uh, regardless to if somebody is trying to entice you to get into a fight um an argument or you know to start full-blown cussing them out and you know acting a fool and it'll be like a situation where this person been messing with you for hours and you finally burst but once you burst they pull out cameras they pull out all these uh they on live and they recording you and they trying to embarrass you and show you acting this certain way but they keep out everything that they did up until that point like <laughs> and oh uh, something close to this happened to me okay me and my husband was at the train station and i'm looking in the direction of the train because i'm ready to get on the train and go home and there were a group of people kind of sitting at the edge where they were kind of right next to where the train will pull up. And one of them uh, called me out by name and said, why are you looking at me? And you know, I look like I'm not looking at you. So I ignored him. Okay. Because I know I just try not to get it. <laughs> I try. I try my best, you know, because I feel like, um, by me publicly being a prophet i'm somebody like i'm doing this in god's name i'm somebody that god called and i tried to live my life as close to the way god wants me to as i possibly can that does not mean i'm perfect that does not mean that um everything i do is going to be crisp and clean okay um okay but uh, i will say that you know at at the same time i try my best okay so i'm trying to ignore them and you know we kind of like it, it didn't get serious it didn't get to a crazy um situation we weren't all out there throwing hands but you know i'm just saying that to say that i feel like that situation is kind of example of how someone can start messing with you and you're not even messing with them you know what i'm saying because um yeah, it could have easily. It could have easily. And, you know, I was just, I have these breathing, <laughs> this breathing pattern that I do when I'm starting. I feel myself starting to get angry. No, I'm not the Hulk. But I, I try to breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out to keep myself calm. Because I know how All Star is. I know how All Star is. And I know All Star will pop off on with any and everybody. For no reason at all and just like she 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 was crazy okay like the old me that is gone because god has changed me was crazy and i'm just saying that to say you know for somebody you have to watch who you around you have to watch who you entertain and you have to watch um just watch the way people treat you because long story short i feel like anybody that's deliberately trying to pull you out of yourself especially if you do something like that and they know you do something like that but they yet and still are trying to put you in a position to where you're embarrassing yourself especially if you're not someone that's 100 percent real like me and say that i used to okay i used to i try my best to stay out of trouble i try my best to say to myself i try my best to um calm myself down i try myself my best to keep myself out of any kind of situation that may lead me to throwing hands may that may lead me to snatching somebody up even if i have to get up walk away and start praying to god i try my best i do i try my best 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 but you know it's a difference between you trying your best you calming yourself and it's also a difference between somebody verbally attacking you and you ignore it and walk away and them verbally attacking you and you say, you know what? <laughs> I'm thinking about this episode. Don't judge me. I used to watch Bad Girls Club, y'all. But I'm thinking about the episode of Bad Girls Club where it was some girls that was messing with, I think her name was Christina. They was messing with Christina. They would not leave Christina alone. 
They could, I don't know if they was banging the pots and they was doing something while she was asleep. She woke up. <laughs> she woke up and started running, trying to catch them, running, trying to get them. And you know, the camera showed her she was laying in the bed and she was up listening to them and she was trying to calm down. And they wouldn't stop. Like, they wouldn't stop. They wouldn't stop. They wouldn't stop. They wouldn't stop. And she was like, you know what? I'm up now. I'm up now. Come here. Come here. <laughs> so I know it's hard. Okay, I'm just saying that to say I know it's hard. I, I, I know. I know. I know. Because me, I know, my, I know my limit. And once my limit hit, like I said, that means it's time for me to walk away and start praying. That means it's time for me to move around. That means it's time for me to find something else to do because i already know and um i'm gonna also add that don't feel guilty if it gets to a point that you don't want it to and you have no choice because it's a difference between being in a situation where you can actually go somewhere else or you can't actually leave or you know whatever and um, being in a situation to where you literally have nowhere else to go. You have to be there or you can't move around, you know. And um, I know unless you are like in a hospital or in jail or something like that or, you know, um, a shelter or something like that, typically you can find somewhere else to go. You can be relocate yourself somewhere else. But I'm not going to act like I don't understand. And I've been in that situation. I think I told my testimony about how I was in a nursing home. The uh, nurses was messing with your girl. And I called, <laughs> I called my daddy and told him, I'm, uh, this, I'm this close to throwing hands. I'm throwing hands. I'm throwing hands. I'm about to fight. I'm about to fight. <laughs> in a wheelchair. In a wheelchair, y'all. But, you know, um, that was a situation where I had nowhere else to go. That was a situation where I had no choice but to stay there and deal with what was around me. And, you know, I'm just saying that to say, you know, if you are in that kind of situation, pray to God for strength. Pray to God to cover you. Pray to God to be with you. If you can stay by yourself, you know, for my, the rest of my stay there, really most of my stay anyways, I was either outside. Yeah. Back then, yes, your girl was uh, smoking. So I would be outside smoking. I'll be in my room, um, watching movies, watching TV with the door closed. Stay to myself. And, um, sometimes I just feel like, especially for a person like me, that you working on your anger, you working on getting yourself together, you working on being the best version of you that you can be. Sometimes being inside is the best call. And, you know, um, as antisocial as it may seem, as lame as it may seem, is, in a sense, a piece to being um, excluded from drama and being able to find joy with yourself and being able to find joy with being by yourself. And, you know, like I said, you don't want to be in a situation, especially if you are... Um, doing something where you're popular, doing something where you are well known um, on social media, and there's someone that's trying to um, harass you to get you to a point to where y'all end up scrapping. And I'm gonna close this video by saying, if this one is for me, and something happens, I'm gonna tell y'all the whole story. I am. Y'all already know I will. But anyways, that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.